Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to New Frontier. It is the morning of day 10 and I've got some skill points to spend this morning. Three of them. Let's put another one into better barter since we're here at the traders. And let's put two into mechanic to speed up the process of unlocking new vehicles. Not that I'm in a rush to get rid of the horse, but I mean it's day 10 and we've only unlocked the bicycle at this point. So I kind of want to move that along get the vehicles unlocked at least well, if you and we can always hand buy hand that hand for getting elixir and uh I guess you ain't respect that. some points that later on that. let's do the crafting skill magazines hopefully there's some vehicle books in there i got some stuff to sell we've got the money for the crucible we might as well do it right we need the steel not even for our base we need it for weapons i'm doing it damn Shit, we even have enough money to buy the chem station if we want to, but I'm not going to do that. We'll wait and craft that thing. Oh, I am going to buy this pump shotgun, though. Yeah, screw it. I'm taking it. All right, got ourselves a decent firearm now. Let's take the mod out of the double barrel. Put it in here. Pop this open, a knife guy, scrap spitter, home cooking, and seed crafting. Here you go, wrecked. Got a little bit of coin left. I guess I'll buy the forged ahead books, as many as I can, right? Because we still need to unlock that chem station. If he had shotgun ammo, I'd buy that. No but he doesn't. Funds. Deal's done. Now beat it, fucker. All right, take it easy, wrecked. I'm gonna do this clear zombies job for you. You can offer word of advice. I'll be back, Next bitch. Time, well, now that we got the crucible, we can make the steel we need to craft a 44 pistol. But I also unlocked the Gatling gun prototype. The level one requires a hundred forged steel and a zombie bear tooth which i imagine we get from killing a zombie bear i might make that raven tonight we'll see i don't know i don't know if the schofield is any better than the raven but currently we can craft a level five raven and only a level one schofield it is what it is we'll just mine some iron and make a shit ton of steel and we'll make both pistols eventually look at what we've got here it's a log drive that said i used to move big giant fucking logs from the forest to the sawmill if it was close by a river they'd float them down the river here we are man this is uh super creative i love it whoops uh oh uh let's just fire this job up before we wake up every zombie on this thing oh bird oh two birds holy shit Okay. Well, it's a good thing I bought the shotgun. Oh, should have loaded it, though. That one's feral. The rest are not. So, uh... We're good. Let's get behind these pallets and reload. Oh, he got me. Oh, that was fun. The bobbing up and down when walking on the logs is a little annoying, but just the nature of the beast, I guess. Oh, speaking of annoying, motherfucker, you know what? Enjoy your life on the riverbed, you useless pile of orange shit. Got lumberjack stuck on the boat. I see two red dots on the compass, though. Where's the other one? Uh, we'll just stab this guy since he seems to be stuck. Let's go. Walk back over here. Oh, are you gonna go under? No! Look at you! The acrobat lumberjack, first of his kind. There's the other one. Oh, what are you two doing? Glazing the donuts? Do not blow up. Thank you. Got a dog. Two of them. Shit. Another cop. 
Okay, we're good. No, we're not. Nah, we're good. Area's clear. Oh, here's some more loot. Sell that. Take, take, scrap, take. What do we got here? Just some more frames. Alright. I think that'll do it. Uh, let's go with the crafting skill magazine bundle again. Maybe there'll be some vehicle books in there. And I'm going to do the infested job just because we'll get a good amount of ammo from that. No vehicle books, but a couple of forged ahead books. So, at least we're closer to the chem station. This place again. The picture house. We just did an infested job here. Well, screw it. We're doing it again. At least we know uh, what to do now. It's going to be easy. We're going to get breakfast first. Hopefully there's no cornmeal in here. Nope. Good. Already off to a better start. And we're going to put uh, scaffolding bars down here. As a matter of fact, I have cobblestone on me now, so we can upgrade them to cobblestone, or at least the top one. We'll just do the top one. The, that'll make sure they can't get out. And then we'll hit that lumberjack. Oh, nice. Took him out. And then we'll just uh, stab them all, because why waste the ammo? Well, that went smoother than the first time. Mainly because Thelma and Louise didn't show up. And we know now that we can use the front porch to handle the zombies on the rooftop. The benefits of doing a POI over and over again. I try not to do it on the channel. Just because, you know, I want to give you guys fresh content. But sometimes it, it just happens and there's nothing you can do about it. Scrap Spitter Level 4. We got a level 1 at home. Uh, crafting a level 4 wouldn't be a bad idea. I don't know how many parts I have, though. We'll have to check when we get back home and see if we can even craft it. I'm going to put that cripple -a mod on the pistol. That's a good one. Let's see what we got in the purse. Some money and lockpicks. Let's just get up to the rooftop now. Kill these zombies. Grab the ammunition crate. Go get our reward. We got to get some more work done at the base. At some point today. Here, everyone can have one. It's like Oprah and you're all getting cars. Except you're not getting cars, you're getting shot. Yeah, where are you going? To the grave, that's where. Fuck off, big boy. Look how easy that was. Uh, well, we can craft steel now, so I'm gonna take the ammo. Got it. Oh, look at this. Tier 2 complete. We can get a tier 2 horse? Ooh, she's worth $4,600. I mean, we can get 5000 but I think I want the horse. I got something for you, Wrecked. Grab everything out of there. Let's pick up Motherfucker. And how much is Motherfucker worth? That's the tier two. There we go, tier one. 2300 bucks. Well, shit. We're gonna go sell motherfucker direct. Hey, motherfucker, I got a motherfucker for you. There you go. 2300 bucks. Sweet. Let's go put down, uh... All right, now that we're done doing business, horse number two. I don't know what... Makes a tier two horse better. I imagine it's maybe a little faster. Oh, look at the color on this thing. All right. Cornmeal it is. Oh, look at the storage. More storage. That's what makes cornmeal more valuable. You motherfuckers wanted to name motherfucker cornmeal, but instead I named her motherfucker. <laughs> so, there you go. This horse's name is cornmeal. Are you bastards happy now? Here are my bandages. All right, cornmeal. 
Giddy up, bitch. Let's go over to the base, get some work done. Uh, maybe digging the ground out will be a faster way to get rid of this shit. I'm just gonna leave it like this for now until I decide what to do. Obviously the whole roof is wood, so the question is, do I want to knock it out and replace it with bars? Do I want to knock out some of it? Do I want to upgrade it? I gotta think about it. So for now I'm just gonna leave it as is. What we can knock out though is the bridge from this building to the other one, because I'm gonna replace this maybe with a horizontal door. Or maybe with just some wood frames that we can pick up, like, you know, the frames that aren't upgraded. Or maybe hatches, I don't know, I gotta think about it. But for now, it's gotta go, because I do not want the zombies to see these buildings connected. Not at all times, anyway. Um, that's why I think the door is probably the best idea. Because all we gotta do is open it and close it, and that will um, change the zombies' perspective. Uh, one more thing I want to do before I leave, and that is uh, put blocks on either side of this opening here, leaving just a doorway. And then we can either do fighting here at the doorway at the beginning of the horde, or we can even stretch this out to like a hallway. And we can get a bunch of killing done right here until it gets a little too crazy or until those fucking radiated bastards show up and we can't fight them up close anymore. Then we can uh, escape to the rooftop. Now, I saw in the comments uh, a few episodes back that rebuilding this bridge is actually a job, and you take that job by reading the sign. Unfortunately, I broke this sign, but there's another one on the other side of the bridge. So, let's go see if maybe that sign will activate the job. Now, I imagine if it does, this is all going to get reset and we're going to have to build it again, but I guess I'm okay with that because we should get some kind of reward. You know, I mean, if we don't, that's pretty stupid. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working. I'm getting like a locked sound. Oh, well. Whatever, is what it is. Look at this, we got another slip it in. Literally right across the river from my slip it in. Is that all they did in the old west? Slip it in, huh? I mean, it's a booming business, obviously. It's like fucking Starbucks. They got one on every corner. A lot of stuff to loot over here, but my focus is on the riverboat. And this wolf right here. How you doing, wolf? I mean, it's past hour 16. I probably shouldn't be doing this now, but I am. Because it's just the kind of guy I am. All right, I'm in a rush. I gotta do this quickly. I got a riverboat to clear. And from what I understand, there's gonna be a lot of fucking zombies on that thing. That's okay. I got a pump shotgun now. So I'm not worried at all. That worked out. Uh-oh. Gotcha. Got some bucks. Scrap spitter, medical, handgun, assault rifle. I imagine the assault rifle books unlock the Gatling gun. I haven't double-checked that, though, to confirm. But they have to, because there's no assault rifles in this mod. It's all just, like, uh, lever action and bolt action. And then, of course, the pistols and the Gatling gun. 
Come on, buddy. Where'd you even come from? The roof? Got a crate here. Shotgun Messiah. Another handgun book. Machete parts. Dead. Dead. Alright, let's just get on with it. Because this could be uh, a whole bunch of mayhem right here. If it gets too crazy, we'll just run away. It's no big deal. That's why uh, God gave me legs. The Proud Mary. Well, I hope I can make her proud. By the time I'm done, it might be the Ashamed Mary. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That's too many. Starting off great, aren't we? Well, it's a good thing I got this shotgun. I wouldn't have done this riverboat if I didn't pick this up today. Oh, boy. Is that it? That was easy. Is that the whole first floor? Oh, no, there's a cop over there. We got skill points. Let's go ahead and uh, max out run and gun now. We may need it. Nice. Taken out with the bow. We got more. Damn, I haven't even put any points in the archery yet. Beautiful. Oh, almost didn't see you there, Sleepy Pete. I'll sell that. Why not? Doesn't sell for much, but we got the space. Get these out of the way. And uh, we need stone. Can I get stone from this? That sounds like iron. We only need like six stone, I believe. Oh, we can get stone from those. Great. Uh, this way we can make uh, a land claim block. And put a land claim block down here once we're done so we don't gotta worry about all these zombies respawning. Nice. Ooh, ammo crate. Uh, we'll sell the club parts, take the ammo, and let's take this thing apart. Get a little steel from this, and forged iron. Maybe just forged iron. There's one piece of steel. We can get more steel from this. Well, not quite enough. Handyman, handgun, knife guy. That'll do it. Bam. No oh, shit. Handgun's not loaded, but the shotgun is. There was another one. He must be stuck on something. Yep. Alrighty. Oh, I see a green something sticking out over there. Oh, there's another one. Let's wake him up. Right to where the other guy was stuck. Oh, shit. Damn, why are you so big, lady? Oh, it's because I'm crouching. <laughs> oh, I am not the sharpest crayon in the box. Not the brightest one, either. Waking everyone up. Got a spider zombie. Eh, uh, you know what? Let's use the guns. Uh, I want to avoid cops blowing up on the boat. I don't want to do any more damage to the boat than I have to, you know? I mean, the whole point of me clearing this out and putting a land claim block down is so in the future, if we want to or need to, we can use this as a horde base. Oh, boy. Holy shit. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, that was stupid. Okay, ow. I am jumping. 
this might be a bad move because uh, getting too far away from where the zombies spawn might cause them to respawn even if we kill them all right now. Because I haven't put that land claim block down yet. Uh, but whatever. I wasn't going to stay up there and die. That's not an option. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get back up above as quickly as possible. See if all these whites are going to respawn or not. Probably not. I don't think we went far enough away. We should be good. I hear a snake somewhere. Okay, whites are gone. That wasn't so bad. Well, they weren't all gone. I don't know where that snake is, though. Shit! Here we go. Land claim block is down. Alright. Bird. Lots of birds. I think the snake might be above us. Let's get in here real quick, though, and loot what we can. We got some food. That door's unlocked. I'll drink the coffee. Bandage? I'll use that bandage. We got a gun safe. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh shit, oh shit. Move! Ah, they're not feral. We're okay. Nice. I think we're done here. Unless there are zombies above us, that's the only place I haven't uh, searched. And uh, there can't be that many zombies up there, even if there are. So uh, I think we are pretty good. I mean, we're infected and we got a sprained leg, but that's fine. The sprain will go away by tonight. And we'll clear up the infection with some honey once we get back home. Let's see what we're looking like up here. Uh-oh. A bird. Two birds. Okay. Let's go see if that was it. Looks like it to me. Oh, we haven't gone on the other side of the ship yet either. The top over there. So, go check that out. We already got the land claim block put down, so we can get out of here. And, god damn it. Um, and we can come back at any time. And we won't have to worry about uh, all the zombies respawning because of the land claim block. Because that's what it does. I planted some shit out here. Uh, potato... Pumpkin, corn, and blueberries, and they all go back to seed and will grow again, which is nice. Take the water, and uh, might as well grab some honey out of here. The rest of the shit out of cornmeal. Uh, that. Let's go check on the chickens. Ready for gathering. Gathering what? Eggs? Yep. Oh, I was going to stab that son of a bitch. Now they're back in the nesting stage. So we get free eggs out of them. I'll let them be. Ain't going to let Skinny Pete be, though. Let's get the crucible in the forge. Uh, how much steel can I craft? 109 pieces. I don't have uh, any iron. Or did I... 
put it in storage. Yep, yeah, here we go. Alright. Let's put that in here. And we'll craft... 100 pieces of steel. Looking good. Alright, well I'm gonna get all this loot organized and probably do a little more work down in the mine and dig up some more clay in the backyard so I can get more cobblestone crafting and we'll pick things up here on the morning of day 11. We'll go get some more work done to the base and we'll do a tier 3 job for Wrecked. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more New Frontier, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.